Hello everybody, thanks for clicking on this short video. Now I got this closed, pear-shaped terrarium for my birthday earlier this month, so I've been thinking for a couple of days what I should put in it, and now I think I got it figured out. So let's have a look together. So, for this pear-shaped terrarium, I got my inspiration from my apple-shaped terrarium that I featured in another episode of this terrarium series. The only substrate in it is palm, and until now this worked perfectly. But this apple terrarium is an open one, whereas my birthday terrarium has a lid, so basically it is meant to be a closed terrarium. Now the advantage of pond is that you can clearly see when you have to add water to your terrarium since the pond will become very light colored when it's dry. So what I want to try today is find out whether you can also use pond as a unique substrate for a closed terrarium. So first I rinsed my pond thoroughly to get rid of all the dust and other imperfections. And after that, I put it in my new terrarium and I try to make the back slightly higher than the front to create a different visual end effect. Next, I put this Japanese tower in first. I bought this in an aquarium shop, which by the way are gold mines for stuff you can put in a terrarium for decoration. And around the tower I started putting several different cuttings that I propagated in water. Now, to put the plants into place, I always use a set of terrarium utensils that I bought on Amazon. And that really helps to get the cuttings in without damaging them too much. So for this terrarium I used a Trent Descantia cutting, a couple of baby aluminum plants, a small Monstera siltipecana, a Philodendron Brantianum Mini and also a couple of giant baby tears plants to fill up this terrarium. Now, since the pond is already very wet since I just rinsed it, I'm not going to add any more water at the moment to avoid a humidity overdose. So I will monitor the terrarium first for a couple of days to see whether I have to add more water or not. And although for a terrarium less is more is the way to go, I still felt that something was missing. So I ended up adding some real seashells that I found at the Belgian coast. So let's say that the end result is a kind of a Japanese garden situated close to a beach. Which is quite convenient because the pond substrate reminds me a bit of a beach with pebbles. Now, as I said, this is just an experiment to see whether pond can be used or not as a substrate in closed terrariums. And in any case, if it doesn't work out, there is no harm done, I will then just keep the lid off and use it as an open terrarium, since I already know that pond does work in open terrariums. Another thing I'm gonna do is that I'll try to guide the Tradescantia cutting in such a way that it will grow through the open spaces of the Japanese tower, so that in time the tower will be completely overgrown by the trailing Tradescantia. Okay, that's all I have for today. If you have any experience with Pon in a closed terrarium, please feel free to share in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye.